Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and a non-makeover video. Ooh. Oh, I'm a little late to the Lego party here, but I have just got my hands on this, which is Lego's Research Institute kit. And it comes with three models, three setups of female scientists. And you have an astronomer, a paleontologist, and a chemist. This Lego kit doesn't depict any particular scientists, but I thought it would be quite good fun to build one of the models and use it as an opportunity to talk to you about some of my female science heroes. To kick things off, because I couldn't resist it, I want to start with a paleontologist, mainly because she has an entire fossilized skeleton of a T-Rex in Lego form, which is just awesome. I'm going to have a go at building this and tell you about the life of Mary Anning. Right, let's get into this and build me some paleontologist and T-Rex. The unboxing moment. Ooh. Mary Anning was born in 1799 and she lived in the holiday resort of Lyme Regis in Dorset. And the cliffs and foreshore of Lyme Regis were rich in fossils. We're talking belemnites, ammonites, um, small reptiles, sometimes fishes, all which were deposited in the Jurassic Seas 200 million years ago. First of all, I need to make our little uh, Mary Anning or our paleontologist. Oh, legs on backwards, great start. <laughs> Good hair. <laughs> and she's got a little magnifying glass. That's very cute. And now I need to make her little microscope workstation. Her father was a carpenter, a cabinet maker, but the family were poor and they struggled for money. So making the most of the area they lived in, she, her brother and father would often spend time down on the beach hunting for little shells and fossils of reptiles that they could polish up and sell to holiday makers on the seafront. So I've got my little pane of glass. This this thing, which is pretty much a spot on for a microscope. I tell you what, Lego is so awesome. They're just using things like a little mini, what would be a pair of binoculars and just single panes of glass and random angles. Before you know it, you've got a microscope. That's really, that is very, very cool. Mary had a poor education. She wasn't trained as a paleontologist, a geologist. She had absolutely zero qualifications in science but her passion for finding fossils and her natural ability to prepare her geological discoveries actually changed science. Then I just need to put my bone in place and look. Oh no, I've got a white floor. Her magnifying glass actually works. <laughs> right, so now we're moving on to the bigger and better stuff. In 1811, Mary's brother Joseph spotted a skull popping out of the ground. It was four feet in length, and at first they thought it might be a crocodile. But over the next year, at the tender age of 12, Mary painstakingly uncovered the rest of it to discover this giant marine reptile. Okay, now T-Rex feet. Do, 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 do. Two more, need two more, I need little clips. Beautiful. Okay, and now I need something that looks a little bit like a ray gun. The thing is, I wonder if this is actually a ray gun, because if this is usually a ray gun and they're now reusing it to make part of a T-Rex, Lego, you outstand me. Now, it's worth mentioning that at the time, although it was understood that fossils were the hardened remains of dead animals, it wasn't yet accepted that these animals might be extinct species from millions, hundreds of millions of years ago. So when she rocks up, rocks up, haha, with this um, giant marine reptile fossil, it causes quite a stir because it encourages the largely creationist population to rethink Think the history of the earth. So now I've made the spine. Oh no, oh no, your back end's come off. Look at that! Perfect, okay. So I need to put the arms on. So I need two more little grippy, clawy things. Yeah, that's right, that'll do. However, soon after it was uncovered, the Anning family, desperate for money, sold it to Henry Host Henley of Conway Hall in Lyme for the sum of 23 pounds. It was passed on and later in 1819, it was bought by the British Museum. But selling on her discoveries and not being able to take full credit for them became a bit of a pattern for Mary. Ah, get back in. There we go. Fossil finding wasn't easy and could actually be quite a dangerous business. 
In Lyme Regis, the best time to go hunting for fossils was after a landslide that was usually brought on by storms or high winds because this revealed new layers of rock. At the age of 30, Mary actually nearly lost her life when she was caught in a landslide. Thankfully, she survived, but she lost her little dog tray. Oh, I turned it upside down. Right, okay, and then that clips in absolutely fine. Oh, awesome! Yes, it's the mouth! Over the years, Anning uncovered some incredible finds, including skeletons of ichthyosaurs and one of the first complete skeletons of the 10 meter long necked plesiosaur. Oh my word, that's cool! <gasps> Uh, in fact, when she first showed scientists the sketches of this fossil she had uncovered, they didn't even believe it was real. Oh my god! Look, guys, that's amazing! And now we just need to put the tail on. And then that just clips in there. Oh! I do have some weird spares, but whatever, that's fine. We'll just completely ignore those. Mary Anning died aged 47 from breast cancer. But for a young lady from such humble beginnings, living in a society which demanded most of her own discoveries be given full credit to rich, wealthy men, by the time that she died, she had gained the full respect and imagination from the scientific community, who now give her full credit and the recognition of a lifetime. So there we have it. The microscope, my paleontologist, and the very cool T-Rex. How amazing is that? Thank you for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see me make the next two models in the kit and talk about two more of my favourite female scientists. Send me pictures on Instagram if you've already made up your own research institute box because I really love to see them and I will see you next time. Bye!